And now, Storm Tracker Weather with meteorologist Cesar Cornejo. Good evening, Southeast Idaho and Western Wyoming. Taking a look at Storm Tracker satellite and radar, we can see that the moisture is moving on out towards the east, towards Western Wyoming. It is producing a few snow flurries for Jackson. We can see that for the Southeast Highlands, there is a bit of snow activity and rain, but really this is gonna to continue to move on forward towards the Northeast. But taking a look at our temperatures, we are still seeing temperatures around the 40s and upper 30s in the Snake for Plain. We're seeing 40 in Pocatello, 38 in Idaho Falls. Stanley's a bit cooler, 27 so far, and that is because of the clearing skies that we have going on. But for most of us, we're seeing the moisture moving in and a bit of some warmer air from the southwest because of a low pressure system that will continue to move up towards the northeast. Taking a look at, of course, tonight's lows, we do see that we are gonna be below the freezing mark as we clear out overnight, and many areas will see around the 20s. We'll have 27 as a low in Idaho Falls, 29 in Blackfoot. We'll see 24 in Jackson and in Driggs, 24 in Chalice, but taking a look at our future tracker, by the time the show ends, we can expect to see that there is some rain lingering. Cloud cover will remain dominant, but through the overnight hours, really it's gonna be clouds and just a bit of Eastern Highlands and Western Wyoming snow. But by the time we wake up, it'll start to slowly clear out. By the time we're around lunch, we can see a few showers of mixed precipitation for Western Wyoming, but it'll lead to a mostly sunny day for quite a few of us. And by the time we start wrapping up the day towards the dinner time hour, it'll be quite nice, a beautiful sunset because there will be a few clouds, but mostly it'll be quite a sunny day. And for tomorrow, I, our highs will be in the Mild range, once again, we'll see 54 degrees in Pocatello. We'll see 45 in Rexburg, 43 in Ledor. And for your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast for Pocatello, we can expect to see quite a nice clearing of skies for Monday. Temperatures will remain around around the 50s, not only for Monday, but also for Sunday and Monday, but the rain does return. And for Tuesday, and for Idaho Falls, very similar once again. The cloud cover will be a little bit thicker, but it will thin out throughout the day. Temperatures will be a bit on the lower side. And similarly for Rexburg, there is that possibility of seeing a bit more cloud cover. It won't have the possibility of seeing rain just yet on Tuesday, but it does make its head, its way around on for Wednesday and Thursday. For the Teton area, there is that possibility of seeing a bit of snow and rain tomorrow. Temperatures will be warmer, 39 degrees, but by the time we see Monday, a bit of spotty showers. We'll see 40 degrees as our high. And for the Central Mountains, quite nice once again, mostly sunny skies before we do return back to seeing a bit of snow and rain to start off the week. So better hold on to those umbrellas. 